What's up, Team Bridge Culture and CPS? Faith Emmanuel with you. This is the third video I'm shooting. Matter of fact, uh, you can see all these trades on demo that I just randomly clicked. Anyways, here's how we get your account set up for the copy sessions with Nino and with uh, myself if you're on my team, okay? Number one, you need to click on countdown. You're going to be on standard. Click on countdown. This is the only kind of trade we will be trading. By default, it's going to show you 60 seconds. Make sure it is at 60 seconds. Leave it at 60 seconds. We don't trade 120 or 300 unless I specifically tell you to do so. It's 60 seconds. Leave it there. Okay, now you're going to see higher and lower. Uh, when I call out a trade, it's going to be, I'll say, okay, Euro USD call or Euro USD put. You want to write this down. Call is equal to higher or up. Put is equal to lower or down. Okay, so call, put. So when I say call, you're going to click higher. When I say put, you're going to click lower. How do you enter the trade? Uh, first off, here's the amount, your stake. Um, let's say 1% of 9,771 would be $97, right? So I'm going to trade $97 on this. We want to trade only 1% to 2%. Um, okay, and uh, here's an example. Euro USD call, click, click. And I'm already in the trade. You'll see your active trade here. Okay. You'll see your active trade over here. You'll see your completed trades here. So did you catch that? It was just a quick one. You want to enter as soon as you can. So whether it's call, whether it's put, click and click buy as soon as you can. Here's how you'll add another currency pair. Add, click on add new asset, plus sign, add new asset, click on Forex, and you're gonna get a few currency pairs you can choose from. So I'm gonna say, okay, everybody open Euro GBP or Euro JPY. Open up Euro JPY. I'm gonna click on Euro JPY. You're gonna notice a new trading uh, window open up for Euro JPY. When I tell you to open up Euro JPY, and wait on my call, wait on my trade direction, you should be ready with your amount as well. Okay, so I just edit, use my keyboard and enter the amount manually, right? I'm 60 seconds, I, uh, I have my $97 here, I'm waiting for Nino or I'm waiting for myself, I mean, Faith, to call out the trade direction and Maybe I don't see a good trade set up with this. I'll say, okay, guys, open up GBPUSD next. Open, go to add new asset, Forex, and GBPUSD. You're going to find the GBPUSD, and I'm saying, and then I'll let you know probably that Euro JPY, there's no trade. You can close it. You want to maintain just two or three windows at the maximum so you're not confused with the various currencies, right? So GBPUSD, let's do one more trade. Uh, put this time a put right you, what's put it's lower so as soon as I say put oh you want to enter this amount 97 so as soon as I say put you want to get in as soon as you can so put boom boom that's it you'll see the amount uh, active trade in here that's all guys so add new asset for choose the symbol Plus my name. close open close and it's going to come up here. You want to close the currency pair that's there, click on the X, right? Enter your amount here, it's 60 seconds. Uh, make sure you write, you have written it down, call is higher, put is lower, call is up, put is down. Just remember that way, the arrows up and down. Click and click buy as soon as you click one direction, okay? so. The moment from the time you click on buy is when um, the trade enters. You want to get in as soon as you can. Okay, that's all. Cheers. See you in the session.